Hi guys! Welcome to my channel! So before we get started make sure to hit that like button, also subscribe to my channel. In this video we will talk about How do Google Maps work? So make sure to watch the full video. There was a time, not too long ago, when looking at a map meant unfolding a large piece of paper and reading the tiny letting and trying to figure out where you were and how you could get to where you wanted to go. Sometimes the motel marked on the map would have closed two years ago. Sometimes the road ahead might have been blocked for construction, and you would have had to double back. And good luck trying to look at the stars at night and figure out where the hell north was supposed to be. But then years ago, things changed. Google Maps came around, and paper maps have now become practically non-existent. Just how does this miraculous world-covering map work? How does it gather? organize, and make available this astounding amount of geographical data. To put it simply, it's a combination of data collected and processed by satellites, government agencies, Google employees, and well, you. History of Google Maps The mapping platform that is Google Maps had relatively humble beginnings. In 2004, Google acquired a small Sydney-based company, where two technologies, and their idea for a web-based mapping software, Along with this Google also acquired a geospatial data visualization company, Keyhole, a real-time traffic analysis company, Zip Dash. With integrations from these additional acquisitions, Google first released Google Maps in February 2005. Google Earth was also launched the same year, providing 3D views of the planet. Two years later in 2006, real-time traffic updates, Google Street View and the first Google Maps mobile app was introduced. Turn-by-turn -turn navigation first debuted in 2009. About five years later business listings, ratings, and reviews were introduced. Features of Google Maps Google Maps lets you find the nearest coffee shop or hospital, but also lets you explore the solar system when you have the time. Here's a list of the most prominent and useful features offered by Google Maps. Navigation Google's Route Planner shows you all the possible routes from point A to point B, and shows you the fastest one and how long it would take you to get where you're going, depending on the means of transport you're using. With turn-by-turn -turn voice navigation, you can have a polite voice directing you the whole way, telling you to turn right in 10 meters. Real-time traffic updates. Getting stuck in traffic is a horrible experience. That's just a universal truth. Google Maps helps you to avoid that hellhole of automobiles, letting you know which routes have the most traffic and which routes have the lightest traffic. Street View Google Street View tries to offer you an experience that emulates being at a place as close as they can. Google Maps offers 360-degree panoramic photographs at the street level at various locations all around the world. Business Listings being listed on Google Maps with accurate information is now a crucial factor for any company with a brick-and-mortar location. The free advertising is amazing, and users get to find what they want along with the directions to it. Users can add reviews and photographs to the listing. But one of the most beneficial features is that people can see what time a place opens and closes, and even what time and day is the busiest at that place. Globe View if you open Google Maps on your computer and go to Globe View, you can see the Earth as a satellite would. You can spin it and zoom into places and even look at other planets in the solar system. You'll see the Earth mapped as it really is because a 2D map can never be accurate in larger views. The feature isn't available on the smartphone app, but Globe View and more can be accessed through the separate Google Earth app. How does Google Maps work? Google Maps work because of what Google does best. Data collection. The working of maps is based on the simple principle of collecting an exhaustive amount of data and then processing and presenting it to the world. The secret to building such an extensive and accurate database of location information is that Google doesn't do it all by itself. From government agencies to end users, Google Maps uses the data collected from a massive amount of sources to keep the system up to date. Base Map Partner Program. Google Maps collaborates with other organizations to get data on places of interest, new roads, aerial imagery, transit routes and schedules and fares, etc. Partners include thousands of various governmental and non-governmental organizations around the world, like the U.S. Geological Survey, 
The National Institute of Statistics and Geography, INEGI, in Mexico, city and town councils, and so on. Satellites. Google Earth and Google Maps use satellites to capture views from above. Satellite views are also used for verifying data collected from other sources, making sure they were not incorrectly reported or out of date. Satellites capture street markers, building locations, spacing, etc. Apart from letting you see the top-down view of your house when you select Satellite View, this imagery can be overlaid on base maps to show building shapes in the normal 2D map view. Crowdsourcing Crowdsourcing for mapping is especially important in developing countries or countries with government restrictions, where Google may not be able to directly obtain accurate data. Earlier, Google Maps had a feature that let users make edits to maps, but that feature was withdrawn from the main mapping platform after reports of vandalism. The local guides community helps in adding additional information to maps, but not indirectly editing maps. Street View Vehicles 360-degree images for Street View comes from both Google's very own Street View vehicles as well as from user contributions. Google's fleet of vehicles includes cars and even snowmobiles and three-wheelers and also a pushcart-style camera system called the trolley and a wearable backpack called Trekker. Location data from users If you use Google Maps and keep on the location services on your phone, whether you know it or not, you're contributing your data to Google Maps. Back in the day, Google used data from traffic cams and such to estimate traffic conditions, but now a much more effective system is in place. Google receives the location and speed of movement of every smartphone that uses Google Maps, and data is collected from a number of such phones on the road. Data processing. Satellites, street view vehicles, and user contributions bring in a massive amount of data, which can be automatically processed and incorporated into Google Maps to an extent. Processing images with AI are important to maintaining such a large collection of data. Machine learning models are used to automate the map-making process, refining building outlines in satellite images, reading street signs from street view data and so on. Mapping the whole world Google Maps seems committed to a vision of mapping out the entirety of the Earth. It's improving its techniques and finding new ways to accurately fit all the missing pieces to form a comprehensive picture. If you look at the numbers, they're mind-boggling. As of 2019, Satellite imagery from Google Earth has mapped out 98% of the world where the human population resides which is 36 million square miles of satellite imagery, and Google Street View vehicles have captured 10 million miles of imagery. Most of us can't even process how much that is. To put it into perspective, 10 million miles is more than the distance covered if you were to circle the Earth 400 times. Google Maps is making great strides a map covering 100% of the world, and also lets you see every detail of it in all its three-dimensional glory, is set to soon be a reality. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go.